Oh yes, here we are again. Oh, what another unboxing video. Don't hit the camera. Oh, don't hit the camera. Tripod, dog. Oh, shoot. Anyway, I got a big one here today. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, make a guess. That's right. I won another uh, eBay auction. Uh, this thing is looking like it's really well packed. Um, but it's got to be. It's holding a... Something that's military inside. eBay. Go along with ah, the military theme of the radios here. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what we got. I just hope it doesn't have all those little bean things in there. Ah, let's see. Ah, well, that's good. Looks like we might be able to get it out of there. Let's see what we got. There we go. What's that? It's, it's a nice steel cabinet. I'll tell you that. I just got to get it out of there. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if I can pull it out of there or what. Well, I think it's time to go and do the flip upside down routine. Get it out. It's in there tight, though. Well, cut the box off. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll have to cut down the side. Unlayer it. There we go. There we go. Now we got it almost. Let's see. Um, get that off of there. And here we go. Now, oh, you're going to say, what is this idiot doing with a box? A big steel box. And it is very heavy. Well, actually what it is, it's a... BC 221 <sighs> frequency counter. Now this is a 1950 to 1953 vintage uh, frequency counter. It comes complete with power supply. But I'm going to have to open it up and take a look around and see what I can find in there. But uh, it seems to be in really good shape. I mean, I paid like, uh, oh, I wasn't getting any takers at $19.99. That's what I paid for it, $19.99. And then it was, oh, I figure it's 30 bucks shipping or whatever. So all together, it was like $50 I paid for this all together. And, uh, and it's really in nice shape. It's got the, it's got the, the book in there, which you, which is, these things are totally useless unless you have the book for them. So, and I'm glad of that. So, anyhow, that's that one. And then I'm going to go show you uh, my brother Ron's uh, radio room after I do this video. So, uh, what do you think, Chubby? Uh huh? What? No, no, you can't play. Look at this guy. He's playing with the box. Look at that. What are you doing, Chubbs? Look at this. New smell. New smell for the box. All right. We'll be right back in a little bit. Well, here I am over my brother Ron's place. This is the uh, his newly redone room in his house. If you can believe this, this place used to have, uh, the previous people had had this, it used to have blue walls and... Uh, kids names on the walls and everything else in here well right now you can see what he's got he has this is his radio room and I gotta cut the blinds down it's too bright in here These things are gonna be washed out so here we go it's a really sunny day here even though it's kind of cool and uh, oops just knocks his key over 
Anyhow, he's working on this, uh, this is an ARC-5 transmitter actually. He was having some trouble with it. He had to borrow some tubes from me yesterday. And this is the uh, major power supply he's building for the transmitter. Uh, it's kind of on the huge side. And that transformer, uh, let's see, it is probably one of the oldest ones he's had. This is from like the 1920s. Actually, mid-20s, early 30s actually is what it's from. And, uh, but he has his antenna tuner up there. He's got his old SX-96. This is a frequency counter. Military, of course. Keys, and then he has other equipment up there on the walls. But uh, this whole room basically is furnished by going to Habitat for Humanities. This huge thing over here, that was a Habitat for Humanities. It was a, a really inexpensive place to go. Even these bottom cabinets, same thing. He bought the entire thing for a unit and uh, put all this together himself. But uh, this is what he uses for his his main uh, transceiver right there. But he does have this BC348. And actually he has two of them. Look in the shelf. There's the other parts one. Well, supposedly it's parts. He can actually still, that one actually still works too. But uh, yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got a little bit of equipment here. This is some pretty old stuff. He's had this stuff for years and years and years. And, uh, but now take a look at the desk. What is different about these desks is they were also made. There was two big cabinets in the corners. And then he bought a, uh, those, uh, that door. That's, those are two doors on the top. And, uh, Again, bought a Habitat for Humanities. It was like, the door itself was like $10. And the cabinets down below were actually old kitchen cabinets. And those were like, he bought the set, four of them, for like $40. I mean, it was really inexpensive. But if you, uh, if you have a Habitat for Humanities store in your area, I definitely would go there if you needed uh, stuff for your projects. They, they're always changing uh, stuff that's coming in. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you the main workbench. And this is a Ward's Airline radio from 1924. My dad actually refinished his cabinet on this thing, redid all of it, and uh, sort of, Ron sort of inherited it when uh, my dad passed away. But uh, yeah, the uh, display. Um, shelves up there worked out pretty well for storing parts and tubes and you name it, all kinds of stuff. And not to mention amateur radio books and stuff. Those are all in there. But just wanted to give you a short look at uh, what's happened here. I have more video I'm going to shoot for the rest of the house. And um, he does have a... Uh, well, he has a, a shed he built from scratch in the backyard. I'm going to show you that one. Oh, that Helicrafter speaker up there, that was from an SX-24. He bought him a set from Helicrafters way back about 40 years ago. 40 or 50 years? No, 40 years ago. Yeah. Um, but the S SX-24 was stolen, and all he had left was the speaker. <laughs> His house was totally robbed. Uh, While well, he was helping me with my mom, who had... Uh, Louis body dementia at the time. So, uh, yeah, he's he's lost quite a bit, too. Anyhow, uh, so that's it for now. I'm going to go do some more stuff later. Bye.